Getting lost in a sexual fantasy from time to time is completely normal and healthy. It's no wonder movies like Fifty Shades of Grey are so popular because plenty of people have similar sexual desires and fantasies. And how can we forget bops like WAP by Cardi B and Side to Side by Ariana Grande? Sorry, did I just reveal your sexy time playlist by accident? Just kidding. The truth is it's simply human nature to have sexual urges, but when is it too much? Stick around for the signs and find out. Compulsivity. When sexual urges consume every single one of your thoughts and you can't focus on anything else, it becomes a problem. The reason? Because if you can't focus or concentrate on anything other than your sexual urges and fantasies, you're exhibiting a loss of impulse control. According to an article published by Mayo Clinic, examples of compulsive sexual behavior include excessive masturbation, multiple sexual partners, use of pornography or paying for sex, an example would be someone engaging in risky behavior to satisfy their sexual urges at all costs, such as using all of their money for sex instead of paying their rent, or someone who simply can't concentrate at work or school anymore because their mind is only focused on sex. These risky behaviors usually result in negative consequences, and that's when sexual urges cross the line from harmless to unhealthy. According to several research studies, compulsive sexual behavior can stem from severe, unresolved childhood trauma, or PTSD. Sometimes, compulsive sexual behavior can be attributed to an imbalance of brain chemicals, such as dopamine, norepinephrine, or serotonin, as well as certain medications and hormones. Dr. Timothy Fong, clinical professor of psychiatry at UCLA, states that cases of hypersexual behavior have also been shown to be induced by medications for Parkinson's disease, implicating dopamine systems in compulsive sexual behaviors. If your sexual urges are out of control, please seek treatment from a licensed mental health professional who can guide you in managing your sexual urges. Obsessive fetishes or paraphilia. There's nothing inherently abnormal or destructive about having a fetish. It's completely normal to have specific sexual kinks and preferences. And in some cases, it can make sex more exciting and pleasurable. However, if your strong sexual urge and desire for a particular fetish is causing you to engage in risky behaviors, then it's time to reevaluate. In an article for Psychology Today, Dr. Stephen Betchen, certified sex therapist and professor, emphasizes that a fetish is only destructive when obsessive. According to the DSM-5, a paraphilia is not considered pathological unless it causes unmanageable stress or does harm to the self or others. It's only then that it would be considered a disorder. So essentially, there's a fine line. A fetish can be completely healthy when managed appropriately and if it's not crossing any boundaries such as an act that would be considered illegal, like violating another person or exposing oneself in public. An example of some paraphilias include exhibitionism, masochism, sadism, and voyeurism. And when out of control, these can switch from fetishes to full-blown sexual disorders. This is referred to as fetishistic disorder, which according to the DSM-5 occurs when an individual exhibits a pattern of obsessive behavior over a fetish that involves inanimate objects or non-sexual body parts. If you suspect that your sexual urges for a certain fetish are out of control, then it's strongly recommended that you seek treatment from a mental health professional. Pornography addiction. The use of pornography is ubiquitous. So again, nothing pathological about it. According to reports from a survey, Pornhub had at least 42 billion visits in a year. Given the prevalence of pornography usage, it's not uncommon for individuals to consume it regularly. However, when pornography usage morphs into an addiction, then it's a problem. But how does one know if it's an addiction? Well, for starters, if your sexual urges are driving you into spending large sums of money and time on porn sites, and it's causing you significant stress and hardship, then that's a clear sign. Another important factor to consider is if it impacts your relationships negatively. Another fact to remember is that porn has the potential to transform into a full-blown addiction if used excessively over time. According to WebMD, experts say that the same brain activity shown in drug or alcohol addiction, when circuits in your brain associated with reward, motivation, and memory get turned on, is also displayed in those who use pornography a lot. If your sexual urges are causing you to become addicted to pornography and you're experiencing withdrawal symptoms such as anxiety, depression, and fatigue, to name a few, then please reach out to a licensed mental health professional who can adequately assess your situation. So did any of these signs resonate with you? If you have any questions, comments, or personal experiences related to this topic, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. And as always, share, like, and subscribe. 
Have an amazing day. And remember, self-love is self-care. Here's the next chapter in our ongoing Psych2Go story series that we've been putting our hearts into. Our stories are more than just entertainment. They're a journey into the realms of mental health and relationships. Be a pioneer and explore our exclusive playlist. Stories that entertain, educate, and empower. What are you waiting for? I see you. Click on our playlist. Also, if you enjoyed our videos and would like to support our work, check out our merch shop to indirectly support our videos.